We are in Santa Ana, California tonight for the extravaganza. Day number two. Last night we saw a modern day win over Capo Valley Christian. Tonight we'll have the Monarchs in our opening game of two as they will take on a very good St. Augustine team from San Diego. Hello, everybody. My name is Randy Rosenblum, set to call the play-by-play. -play. In our nightcap, we'll have Corona Centennial against Capistrano Valley. We work once again with Connor Morris. And Connor, modern day looked great last night. So what does St. Augustine have to do to make this win competitive? What St. Augustine does best is speed teams up. They're going to press. They're going to take a lot of charges. They can get modern day uncomfortable. They'll have a shot at pulling off the upset. They have a very nice guard in Isaiah Brichter. He's a senior, and he knows how to play. They don't have too many seniors, so the fact that he is an upperclassman, a leader on this team, is going to be big. If they have a shot tonight at a win, he's going to have to have a big game. Speaking of big games, last night, a guy by the name of Breedenback, Wilhelm Breedenback, scored 21 points for modern day. He was fabulous in the victory against Capitol Valley Christian. He's so great every night. He can shoot really well. He defends well. He's a big guy who grabs rebounds well. Nebraska's getting a really good prospect. Sit back, relax. This is game one coming up. Modern day and St. Augustine will have our wing stop starting five and the tip off right after this on KDOC. The KDOC game of the week is brought to you by Hyundai. See your local Hyundai dealer today, because the longer you look at the new Hyundai, the more there is to like. Life's full of little accidents. And the Hyundai Tucson helps make sure they stay little by alerting you if you drift out of your lane and even gently correcting your steering. Because unlike your favorite shirt, you are irreplaceable. Hyundai, the longer you look, the more there is to like. Get 0% APR for 60 months on the Tucson or get up to 3500 in total savings. Only at your SoCal Hyundai dealer. Today I'm reviewing donuts. Let's get into it. Guys, that is some good stuff right there. It's like donuts and cereal. No burn or anything. This is so good. High nick, I heard, you know, a lot of nicotine in here. After my motorcycle accident, I had no form of transportation. I couldn't work, and to make matters worse, all the attorneys I called bounced me around from person to person. Jacob was the only one who got on the phone with me when I asked for him. I was told you were just involved in an accident. Can you tell me exactly what happened? He's a real person a real attorney and that's why now he's my attorney accident or injury call jacob and ronnie call jacob stewie stewie how's that oatmeal is it true you're having an affair with that oatmeal i'm just trying to eat here what about the rumors that you have cooties is it true you doubled your weight in the last six months <laughs> family guy weeknights at 10 and 10 30 on kdo ctv los angeles <laughs> Oh, Daddy! I can't get involved because of journalism. Now, please welcome the Back at the extravaganza, right by Heisman Lane, here on the campus of Modern Day. It's time for our starting lineups, presented by our good friends at Wingstop. It's Modern Day in St. Augustine. Here are the starters. Thank you, Randy, for St. Augustine at forward, Jaden Matingu, and then four guards, Isaiah Brickner, Ian De La Rosa, Lawrence Rudolph, and Jurian Dixon, head coach for St. Augustine, Mike Hopp. Modern Day. The two guards, Gabe Kiet and Mason Ressler, and then three forwards, Wilhelm Breedenbach, Harrison Hornery, Nick Davidson, head coach, Gary McKnight. Wingstop presents our key. So, Connor, what do you got for us? For St. Augustine, take smart shots. Got to do that in order to pull off an upset, and then speed, speed, speed. They're going to try to really make modern day go quick. If it works out, they'll have a chance at the end. For the Monarchs, they're 22-0. Keep playing your game. It's working. And number two, get game-winning plays from the bench. And tonight's KDOC Game of the Week is presented by Wingstop. Wingstop now delivers. Visit wingstop.com to get flavor delivered right to your door. Well, we saw Modern Day play last night and win over Capo Valley Christian. That was their fifth game in five nights. Simple arithmetic tells us six games and six nights. We'll see what kind of energy the Monarchs play with. After so much time off with COVID-19, 
I think the guys are just itching to play any action they can, so they'll be able to handle this, that's for sure. Monarchs the much taller team, easily control the tap. Greenbach was hit and fouled by Brickner. That's what, that's what St. Augustine does. They play very aggressive defense. They're in your face, it's fast. We'll see how modern day adjusts to that style. Well, they will harass wrestler, no question about it. Rudolph chasing him out near the 10 second line and they force a turnover. Comes up a little bit short. And a rejection as Della Rosa tried to put it back up. Kiet got two blocks on that possession. That was a great defensive stop from him. Two stops. And again, pressure turns Modern Day over. And that St. Augustine bench likes what they see defensively. They do, and they should. Early on, only played just over 30 seconds, but so far, two turnovers. That defensive intensity is really working well for the Saints. 23, Jury and Dixon can really score the ball. A good look for Rudolph. Kiet has the basketball for modern day. That's the issue for St. Augustine. They don't shoot very well. Davidson, he lost it. A run out for the Saints. De La Rosa all the way. The first goal of the evening goes to the Saints. De La Rosa, only a freshman, but I'll tell you, he does not play like one. He's ready for this moment tonight. Chance to pull off an upset. Usually outworks his opponents. You can see what the Saints are trying to do. They swarm defensively. Hornery flags down this pass. Harrison Hornery. Davidson, corner three. Back the other way after the Matingu rebound come the Saints. Early 2 0 lead. And Rudolph is the setup guy. A very composed, talented. Young player. Dixon looking to go one-on-one. -on -one. Rudolph penetrating, and he's rejected and had the ball fly swatted out of bounds. Harrison Hornery with a terrific play. I've seen a couple of modern day games start off very low scoring, and so far that's what we're getting tonight. The Santa Margarita game comes to mind. Delarosa on the baseline. Kicks it back out. Rudolph with a burst of speed. Did everything properly, but missed the layup. And Hornery rebound. Excellent take, but you're right. Did everything right besides the finish. Saints so far playing terrific, swarming defense. Kiet in low, and going up strong was Hornery, and they hacked him. Modern day is known for their quick passing. And you just see St. Augustine's defense and how they play so fast, it makes modern day's passing have to go even quicker, which has led to some turnovers so far. I think the Monarchs will end up adjusting and they'll start playing their game. But so far, they're uncomfortable, and I think that's pretty clear. An early red flag that might hurt the Saints. Two quick fouls on star guard Isaiah Brickner. And he's going to come off the court, replaced by Charlie Gaylor, who is a terrific shooter. He wears the three because he knocks down threes. They need all the help shooting they can get. So even though Brickner goes to the bench, if Gaylor can knock down some shots, that'll be huge. Corner, he gets modern day on the board. And Rudolph will be the setup guy. Della Rosa, who just is a very hard working player. Comes up shy with that one. And Modern Day will come down the floor looking to take the lead. Skip pass is deflected away by Geller. Charlie going end to end, and Wrestler picked his pocket. And timeout called by Gary McKnight on the bench. How many times have we seen Wrestler make plays like that? All the time. That's what he's known for. He is off the turnover. Wrestler hustles back on defense and then out of nowhere just swats the ball away. And Gary McKnight hasn't liked what he's seen so far. So even though his team was on what looked like a fast break there, he takes a timeout. Connor, what is St. Augustine doing defensively that's bothering Modern Day early? I think it's the pressure on the guards and making sure they have absolutely no time to see the court and pass to the forwards. What I think Modern Day 
forwards are going to have to do going forward is try to catch the ball closer to half court, dribble the ball a little bit more, because these guards so far are having a tough time. Of course, if you're modern day, you want to get it to the big three. We know them all by now. We featured them in prior shows. Harrison Hornery, number 30. Will Helm Breedenbach, number 32 and 35. Nick Davidson last night. Nick Davidson had a big game. He had 14 rebounds. The last two games, in fact, Nick Davidson has had double doubles. He's a hard working player, number 35 inside. And they physically took over the game and wore down Capital Valley Christian. And Gary McKnight, who has 1,183 career victories, that's fifth all time ever in the United States in prep basketball. And the winningest coach in California history. Quite the resume. 39 years of excellence. Another potential turnover. Official Moore says, modern day was out of bounds. Give the ball to the Saints. This has the feeling of one of those games where the underdog hangs around and the longer they're in the game, I know it's so early, but the longer it's close, the more they start to believe. And every defensive possession I'm seeing from St. Augustine so far, they're growing in belief that they can hang around with the Monarchs. We'll see if that can continue. But at this end, who will score the ball for? That's the big question. Absolutely. Got to score. Jurian Dixon, who has it now, is fully capable. On the baseline, missed the shot, got it back, missed the second one. Geller puts it in. Three opportunities for St. Augustine. We were talking about how deadly Geller is from beyond the arc there. He got in the paint, got dirty, got a rebound, and scored two. They're running and jumping. And a reaching foul on Jaden Matingu. Foul, but again, almost another turnover. Dangerously close to modern day turning the ball over again. They've already had five or six to begin the game, and we haven't even played that many minutes. That's an adjustment playing St. Augustine. Another they force one. another one. And a breakaway. And an easy one for Jurian Dixon, the 6'4", 180-pound sophomore. He's a transfer from San Ysidro, where he had some big games for the Cougars. He had a 50-point pass back. Hornery trying to dunk it, and he charged. Offensive foul on Harrison Hornery. De La Rosa stood his ground. He did, and you could see how frustrated Hornery was. He tried to take out his frustration on the rim, missed the dunk, and called for the charge. I'm going to come out and say this is a perfect start for St. Augustine. Well, the Saints are playing a team in modern day that has the best record in the CIF Southern section, a perfect 22-0. We were earlier today in this extravaganza saw unbeaten Etiwanda fall to Harvard Westlake. So that's the first loss for the Eagles of Etiwanda after seven victories, but a great win for Dave Rabibo's club. In the paint, two more. This time it's Jaden Matingu. The lead is six for the Saints. And they're trapping Kiet. Hornery, corner three. Harrison Hornery. And another timeout taken by Modern Day. 3.32 left, opening quarter. The visitors are playing hard. It's interesting early in Santa Ana on the Game of the Week on KDOC. The KDOC Game of the Week is brought to you by Wingstop. Go boneless at Wingstop with any of their 11 flavors. Go to wingstop.com for delivery now. We've got six plus one. Wingstop for a <gasps> Who ordered lunch to class? Chloe? Archie? Eleanor? Oh, so nobody will fess up? Fine. I guess I'll just have to eat it all myself. Ten piece lemon pepper with extra ranch? Yeah, it's in there. Awesome, thanks. You know you want that smoky, tangy, sweet, and spicy sauced and tossed wing stop where flavor gets its wings. At California State University in Dominguez Hills, we educate students of unprecedented diversity for leadership roles in a global society. This is your university in the heart of the Los Angeles South Bay region, empowering you with scholarships, exciting internship opportunities, community support, and the classes you need to succeed. Become a Toro today. The 
you can see, St. Augustine with an 8-5 early advantage. All five points, by the way, for the Monarchs, scored by Harrison Hornery. And tonight's KDOC Game of the Week is brought to you by Shakey's Pizza. When it's time to celebrate, it's time for Shakey's Pizza. Dough made fresh daily. Order now at Shakey's.com. Well, the visitors from San Diego are a pesky group. They are, and they're doing it on the defensive end so far, really bothering the Monarchs. I've already said it, I don't want to sound like a broken record, but I'm excited to see how long they can keep up this defensive intensity and keep confusing the Monarchs. Ball in Jurian Dixon's hands, and he can be creative. Number 23 out on top. Again, a dynamic sophomore. In the paint, puts it up and scores, and that's what he can do. Jurian Dixon. And he had a 50-point game last year against San Diego Southwest and 44 against Chula Vista. And pressure again turns him over. I'm speechless. I'm surprised Modern Day is playing No, no, you can't be poorly. speechless if you're going to do the commentary. <laughs> you're, you're right, but how many turnovers have been? Seven or eight now. Wow. Delarosa on the weave. And Geller is tripped up accidentally by Kiet. Under three minutes to play in the quarter, and modern day, other than Hornery, no one else has scored. No, but what's good for the Monarchs is they're so good at shooting threes, so any deficit they should be able to overcome because they can shoot so well from deep. Saints are patient. Still 20 on the shot clock. He'll back it up. And Dixon, who has the green light from anywhere. Three more for Jurian Dixon as he rattles home the big triple. If he's going to be playing like that, watch out. What did I say earlier? Offense is the issue sometimes for St. Augusta. Not there. Foul against the Saints. Modern day was feeding it down low to Breed Bach. It was Dixon who picked up his first. Just a little bit too aggressive on Friedenbach. Grabbed him. Easy call. Saints by eight. Davidson. Delarosa rebounds. Saints playing with confidence on the road. Two minutes to play. Opening quarter. Geller always looking for the three. He wanted he's, that one. Yeah, he's the zone buster. If any team goes into a zone, he can knock down those triples. Rudolph. Grays the iron and Greenbach clears. St. Augusta gets back defensively so nicely. Davidson inside, powers up and scores. His first deuce of the evening. St. Augustine doesn't have a center, so anytime any of the big forwards for modern day can post up down low, expect them to get the ball and get easy looks. The Tingu threw it away. Davidson with the theft. Half court break, and he slams it home. And, and we mentioned it last night. Modern day is underrated defensively. They are. I think they're one of the best defensive teams in the state. And so far, St. Augustine is playing really well defensively as well, so I want to include them. But you're right. De La Rosa with the mid-range game. Saints are hitting shots in this first quarter. They are, and it's a balanced attack. De La Rosa, two buckets, Dixon up to eight points. Very impressive. Minter finds Breedenbach, who lays it in with the left hand. Pretty finish. Now, I will help. Now modern day starting to get layups, getting into their offense a little bit. Still trailing by four points, but Gary McKnight has to be happy that his team is getting shots at the rim, which they weren't really doing at the beginning of the quarter. Yeah, they're more cohesive offensively in the last four minutes of this quarter. But still in all, if you're the head coach, the venerable Mike Hopp in his 26th year, he's got to be thrilled how his Saints have performed. They're winding this one down the final seconds of the first quarter. And Dixon going to work. That won't get there. The quarter's over. After one, the Saints of St. Augustine have a four-point lead on undefeated modern day. 
Greenbach with a fine finish. But it's been a great quarter for Jurian Dixon on KDOC. Electrical charges live at the heart of every hybrid. Only a few truly move us. Experience the hybrid line that has electrified the road forward for over a decade. With over one million on the road, Lexus hybrids are always charged and always ready. Lease the 2021 ES300 hybrid for $349 a month for 36 months. Experience amazing at your Lexus dealer. The Shakey's PCM Combo, starting at just $10.99. You know Thursday, a high-caliber matchup you don't want to miss. The Beverly Hills Normans face off against legends in the making, the Sierra Canyon Trailblazers. Action starts at 7.30, presented by Wingstop, live only on KDOC-TV Los Angeles. Good set for the second quarter here at Modern Day. St. Augustine by four. Tonight's KDOC Game of the Week is presented by Wingstop. They are the destination to hit up when you crave cooked to order wings with bold layered flavors. Wingstop. Isaiah Brichter, remember he picked up the two early fouls and didn't play much in that opening quarter. That says a lot about the rest of the team around him. But they would take a four point lead into the second quarter. Because Brickner is one of their key players and star players. Absolutely, Jurian Dixon picked up the slack offensively. Matingo with the turnover. And Wrestler is back in, will quarterback the Monarchs. Davidson on the baseline. Breedenbach. Wilhelm with the jump hook. It's one of his favorite shots. Didn't convert there. Del Rosa, corner three. Matingo goes up. He thought he was fouled. It's out of bounds. It'll stay with the Saints. Surprisingly, a couple possessions. St. Augustine has been able to grab some offensive rebounds. I thought that would be another issue they might have. And so far, they're really active on the glass. I've been impressed. They're very quick, and they race to the basketball. They react very, very sharply when the ball goes up. With the exception of wrestler, I think every Saints player is taller. Or, excuse me, every modern-day player is taller than the Saints player, so credit to them. Air ball from Brickner. Wrestler into the front court, and he is fouled by Jaden Matingu, the sophomore. Again, this is a very young St. Augustine team. They're 10-3, and 4-1 and one in the Western League in first place, just ahead of Cathedral Catholic, who will play modern day next week on our air. And they have a win over Cathedral Catholic. Breedenbach again, so smooth, taking it to the cup. It's two laps in a row for Breedenbach. Foul against modern day's Breedenbach. Great take, left hand. Might have gotten bumped, played through the contact and finished for two. De La Rosa. The motion offense. Brickner all the way. Isaiah puts it up. He's short. Gets it back. Scores, and he's fouled. How did he convert that shot? That was not an easy one to knock down. No, it wasn't. He had a great step on Davidson, got to the rim, missed that first one. The Davidson brothers ended up fighting for the ball. Came back to Brickner, who got it back, went up for two, scored, and got fouled. Zach Davidson's first foul. He is the younger brother of Nick Davidson. Back in number three, Charlie Keller. Keller has returned into the Saints lineup. 18-13, St. Augustine. Hand check and a foul. Whistle against Ian De La Rosa. Earlier you mentioned now this is a young team, and you're right, but St. Augustine head coach Mike Hopp told me this is the best chemistry team maybe he's ever had in his 26 years. So that goes a long way to showing why they're hanging in this game and doing so well. They're undersized, but they've bought in. Yeah, Mike does a good job of maximizing his talent. Greenbach 
Shot off on the baseline, and it's deflected away. Geller made the play. He deflected it. That one was nearly thrown away. Dixon saved it. They're ball hawking. Modern day. And Wrestler sees he does not have the numbers. Davidson has the baseline, though, and it fell off. Oh, that's heartbreaking for Davidson. Felt like that one was on the rim for an eternity. Dixon tosses that one up, and it's off the iron. Fun pace right now, though. Back and forth game. So far, so good. Five and a half to play in the opening half. Here's a steal, but a foul. Dixon thought he had the theft. It stripped it clean from Nick Davidson. But it is a foul. Whistled against Jurian Dixon. That's number seven, so every foul from here on out means modern day will go to the line. Saints take a timeout, 522 left. Saints have been leading throughout. It's been their defense. I know they've knocked some shots down, but their defense has been terrific. It has been terrific, and they lost last night to San Diego High School. They were upset 68-63. Clearly, they are pretty frustrated from that game. Upcoming schedule on KDOC. Of course, we have another game tonight with Corona Centennial and Capo Valley. But Beverly Hills at Sierra Canyon. Beverly Hills has a nice team. Sierra Canyon has the amazing Amari Bailey. Rebe Academy had a great win today over Heritage Christian at Birmingham will be a good one as well. That'll be a great one. One of the best city section teams in Birmingham. I think they're top two right up there with Westchester going up against one of the best southern section teams for Bay. You mentioned their Heritage Christian win today. I think that locks them into an open division spot. Davidson at the charity stripe. Misses, but it's cleaned up by his brother who fails to convert. Boy, right there with a great opportunity was Zach Davidson. Brickner had it tapped away. It'll stay with the Saints. I thought that one might have been off Brickner last. Tried the spin move. Hit off someone's arm. Looked like Breedenbach there, so official, I think, got that one correct. Wild pass by Matingu, and it's thrown back onto the court, and the Monarchs have it. That was one of the rare times where the Saints broke down offensively. Not a good possession. Wrestler, again, a swarm. He's in trouble. It's deflected out, and here comes Dixon. Dixon gives it to Matingu. He gets it back on the baseline. De La Rosa. Amongst the tall trees, didn't try anything. Geller for three. Get the clean look. That's the shot St. Augustine wanted. Davidson inside, scores. Smooth move by Zach Davidson. And he'll have an opportunity for the three-point play. He'd missed his last two layups, so I'm sure he's relieved just to see one go down. Gets fouled as well. Now we'll head to the line for two. Geller just a little bit late in getting there on the help defense. He definitely got a piece of it. That's Charlie's first. Substitution back Zach Davidson at the line averages 10 points, four rebounds a game, 6'8", just above 200 pounds. And again, he's going to be an integral part of their future. When his brother graduates, Breedenbach will also leave. So will Hornery. You've got to believe he's going to be one of the stalwarts inside for Gary McKnight. Definitely him and Caden Minter are going to take on much bigger roles next year. Delarosa. And Rudolph, lead cut to two. Where will the offense come from for St. Augustine? The drive by Brickner, and he scores with the left hand. That was a pretty play. I say able to create. Yes, it was, very pretty, creates, great shot. That's what St. August Augustine needs, excuse me. Not every possession is gonna come easy. They need some playmakers, they need to get the hard baskets, and they did right there. Under four minutes to play, a St. Augustine foul, 3.52 to be exact. The Saints continue to lead, but Breenbach and company are starting to score on the game of the week on KDOC.
Life's full of little accidents. And the Hyundai Tucson helps make sure they stay little by alerting you if you drift out of your lane and even gently correcting your steering. Because unlike your favorite shirt, you are irreplaceable. Hyundai, the longer you look, the more there is to like. Get 0% APR for 60 months on the Tucson or get up to 3,500 in total savings. Only at your SoCal Hyundai dealer. New delicious wok seared steak and shrimp. Order today from Panda Express. San Augusto, a very good team out of the San Diego section, leading 20 to 16. 354 remains in the opening half. The KDOC game of the week is brought to you by Hyundai. We get test drive a new Hyundai. You'll find that not only does Hyundai have your back, Hyundai is also looking out for your pocketbook. See your local dealer today and discover why the longer you look at a new Hyundai, the more there is to like. One of the issues when you play so hard like St. Augustine, you will pick up a lot of fouls on the perimeter because they're chasing the guards. They're in foul trouble, and thus we have Kiet at the free throw line. You're exactly right. Aggression leads to fouling, and Modern Day will be shooting the rest of the half. Richter. And Kiet with a near theft. Of course, at half on our Hyundai halftime show. You have a nice conversation with Malcolm Williams, who's injured, not playing tonight for St. Augustine. Plays football and basketball. What I love about Williams is he's a dual sport athlete who just kept playing both. You see a lot of times a kid who's going to go to the University of San Diego and play football. Maybe he'll not play basketball, but whole high school career. He played both sports. Very impressive young man. I think you'll like him. He's a delightful young man. Definitely. Patience on offense. Matingu, who's quick on the baseline. The crash tip by Dixon fails. And here comes Breenbach with a gorgeous feed to Davidson. Back to Breenbach. It doesn't get any prettier than that. Wow, what a play. The ball was on a string right there. Prettiest play of the night for the Monarchs by a mile. That was beautiful offense. Long range jumper by Brickner. It's up on top of the board. And he's out of bounds. That might have been the most fluid and impressive Back basket of the extravaganza. That's just a coach's dream. That's what you run in practice. A three-man weave, no dribbles. Modern Day ran that to perfection right there. Finished off with a beautiful slam. Great, great possession right there. Coaching three minutes to play in the half. Modern Day with an opportunity to catch the Saints and perhaps go in front with a three. Cornery, left side, Davidson. Two in front of him, and his pass deflected, but it finds Breenbach, and he slams it home again. Wilhelm Breenbach has eight, and we're even at 20 apiece. All of a sudden, it's layups and dunks for the Monarchs. Mike Kopp won't be happy with that for St. Augustine. That one put up too strong by Jurian Dixon, and modern day, again, they wear you down. They seem to play downhill against teams. Davidson got Geller up in the air, but a steal. Matingo with a gorgeous defensive play. Some hurried shots, however, for the Saints. Kiet, he can't connect, and here comes St. Augustine. Rudolph, baseline jumper, that fails. Great look, though, by Matingu, he just didn't put it in. And Kiet wisely slows it down here. That game was going way too fast for modern day's liking. Davidson for three, air ball taken by Hornery. The follow is good and he's going to the line. Harrison Hornery, rebound, put back. We're starting to see the modern day height advantage Basket really pay good. dividends. The Saints, three, air ball from Zach Davidson, Hornery grabs the Test rebound. Just taller than everyone else Bradley down there. He puts it back up, gets him for two. That's certainly an issue for St. Augustine. Well, Hornery scored the first five points of the night for Modern Day. That's the first two since then. So he'll be at the line looking for point number eight. Of course, he's on his way. You all know that he's headed to USC. 
Rebound taken by Davidson. Deflected out of bounds, last touched by Brickner of St. Augustine. They're playing volleyball here at Modern Day. They have a good volleyball program on campus, and that's what uh, these Monarchs do with their great size. They keep it alive on the offensive glass. Hornery. All Saints there to rebound. That was a great out of bounds play. Hornery just missed the shot. Patrick O'Leary has checked in number 12 for St. Augustine, and he got the rebound. We had a kicking violation, so it'll be a reset. Saints will have another crack at the goal. They haven't scored in a while. Dixon, who has seven points, scored them early. Richter looking to drive, throws it up. That almost went in. Tipped up by O'Leary, and they get it back. Dixon for three. Well, they're getting shots. They're getting clean looks. And they're getting second opportunities, which is somewhat surprising. They are, but this is an issue we've talked about. Making baskets at times has been tough for St. Augustine. You wonder, do they just play so hard defensively? They're fatigued. I'm not quite sure. Ornery for three. Torn out of there beautifully by Brickner. Brickner's shot, that fails. And the Saints have gone cold. They have, but they're still very much in the game, only down two. Half minute to play, first half. Davidson inside, an easy stuff for Harrison Hornery. And Harrison has nine. Saints can work it down for the final shot. 24-20, modern day. Looking to go to 23-0 on the season. Only five points so far for St. Augustine in this quarter. Dixon, back of the iron, no good. Foul underneath as O'Leary got the board. 3.9 seconds remaining, and this one's going against St. Augustine. That's a backbreaker. I didn't see much on that replay, but Breedenbach goes to the line, shooting two. Well, this is how you close out quarters, modern days flourishing down the stretch here in the second quarter. Our KDOC game of the week. Glad you're with us tonight. We have another one after this, Corona Centennial and Capistrano Valley, both teams with just one loss this season in the bonus. So it'll be another one for Breeden Bach. See how quickly St. Augustine can come down the court and put up a last second shot. So Breedenbach joins Hornery with nine points. They are the leaders for Mater Day. So three seconds for the Saints to come down and somehow find a shot. Rudolph couldn't beat the clock. Well, at the end of the half, Mater Day storms back. They were down early. But beautiful passing and a great finish by Breedenbach. Oh, that is so splendid. On the Game of the Week on KDOC. KDOC Game of the Week is brought to you by Jacob Emrani. Injured in an accident? For a free consultation, call Jacob or visit calljacob.com. My son was badly injured in a car accident. As a parent, you want what's best for your child. So I called Jacob. Jacob treated my son like family. I was just calling to see how your surgery went this morning. Jacob isn't just a guy on TV. He's a real person, a real attorney. And that's why he's now my attorney. Accident or injury, call Jacob and Ronnie. Call Jacob. Dad, we do this every day. When I was your age, we didn't have the 2021 Nissan Rogue with intelligent all-wheel drive. You know what we had? The occasional Sunday drive, gravel road here and there. We didn't get to experience the thrill of groundbreaking driving technology on a daily basis like you kids do. The fiercely reimagined Nissan Rogue. Get a low 219 for a month lease on the 2021 Rogue or get 0% financing for up to 72 months on 14 models.
The new Crunch Cotta flavors are here at Del Taco. Try bean and cheese, seasoned beef with Del Taco's signature queso, or chicken with fresh guacamole. Starting at only a dollar, only at Del Taco. Del yeah, baby. Del yeah. There is a deadly cloying chill that haunts the black community, curled around our kin in a thick cloud of menthol smoke. An aggressive magician's trick, abracadabra sawed our family tree in half, tobacco killing more of us than guns, drugs, and AIDS combined. Big Tobacco told us it was cool. Today we say no more. Remember who we fight for. Go to wearenotprofit.org. Cancer Foundation. Modern day storms back and leads at halftime. Had an early deficit, but the Monarchs able to overcome that and lead by that 25-20 score. This is our Hyundai halftime show. You're going to meet a delightful young man. Plays football and basketball at St. Augustine. Unfortunately, he tore an ACL. Let's hear Connor chat with this young guy. I'm here with Malcolm Williams, a basketball and football player at St. Augustine. Malcolm, unfortunately, picked up an ACL injury in the final game of your football season, so you're unable to play during the basketball year. But there was so much uncertainty about the football season happening or not. How nice was it to have a season, season your senior year? Uh, I'm extremely grateful to, to get the season, um, especially after everything that was happening with, with coronavirus and stuff like that. So I'm just extremely grateful. A lot of times we see football players choose to focus solely on football, but you've been a varsity basketball guy for three years now. Why did you decide to do both sports in high school? A lot of it just has to do with the people on the team. I love Coach Hop. I love the guys on the team, all the assistants, and, and uh, everything that the basketball program stands for, I think. So it was an easy decision to stick with basketball. You're on your way to the University of San Diego to play linebacker for the next four years. Why did you make that decision to go there, and how excited are you? A lot of it just had to do with the coaches there, uh, the guys on the team. Some of the guys I already knew previously before being interested in San Diego. Um, you know, the education is is one of a kind. So, um, you know, it, it felt right. I'm super excited about it. That's Malcolm Williams. Randy, back to you. And thank you, Connor. Thank you, Malcolm. It's 25-20. San Augustine within five, and they only shot 26% of the first half. Greenbach was terrific, wasn't he? More on a Hyundai Halftime Show in a moment on KDOC. The Shakey's PCM Combo, starting at just $10.99. the power to harness California's abundant solar and wind energy. But from 4 to 9 p.m., energy becomes less clean and more expensive. Use less energy during peak hours for a cleaner California. We've got six plus one. Wingstop for a <gasps> Who ordered lunch to class? Chloe? Archie? Eleanor? Oh, so nobody will fess up? Fine. I guess I'll just have to eat it all myself. Ten-piece lemon pepper with extra ranch? Yeah, it's in there. Awesome, thanks. You know you want that smoky, tangy, sweet, and spicy, sauced and tossed wing stop, where flavor gets its wings. We're not the oldest SUV maker around, but what we lack in the cautious restraint of age, we make up for with the gravel-pounding ambition of youth. Torque vector and corner control and center locking differential. Available on Kia's tough and ready lineup of all-wheel drive SUVs. Get 0% APR or lease a Sportage LX for $169 a month. Thursday, a high-caliber matchup you don't want to miss. The Beverly Hills Normans face off against legends in the making, the Sierra Canyon Trailblazers. Action starts at 7.30. Presented by Wingstop. Live only on KDOC-TV Los Angeles. Ford Ranger. With best-in-class available payload and available terrain management system, it's built for America. Now, lease a 21 Ford Ranger Super Crew STX for $279 per month, plus get $500 for accessories. At California State University in Dominguez Hills, we educate students of unprecedented diversity for leadership roles in a global society. This is your university. In the heart of the Los Angeles South Bay region, empowering you with scholarships, exciting internship opportunities, 
community support, and the classes you need to succeed. Become a Toro today. St. Augustine led by eight points in the first quarter, but modern day outscored the Saints 14 to five in the second stanza to take this 25-20 advantage into our Hyundai halftime show. Some highlights from a fairly entertaining opening half. It was, and early on, modern day, we probably won't see him here, but lots of turnovers leading to buckets for the Saints. Yeah, we don't show turnovers <laughs> on the highlight package. We're not gonna do that. Dixon has started quickly. Matingu with a nice two. One. Yeah, but again, they shot very poorly. Only one of 10 from downtown for the Saints. That's an off-balance J by Dixon. And then lots of dunks for modern day once they got going. Dixon, seven points to lead the Saints in the first half, but the dunk started and they kept on coming from the Monarchs as things got going here in the first. Yeah, modern day does play above the rim with Breenbach, Hornery, and Davidson. And there's the junior Davidson, the younger of the two. And this is a great finish by Brickner. I thought that was their best play of the first half, an explosive Layup with the left hand, nice play. I thought this was the best play of the tournament so far, and they gave it up brilliantly, and Breedenbach able to slam it home. Ball on a string, a coach's dream right there. It was fun to watch. 25-20 at intermission. Our Hyundai halftime show presenting those highlights. Breedenbach and Hornery with nine points leading the way for modern day. By the way, Hornery also has nine rebounds. The second half will commence when we return right after this on KDOC. Hunger. It lets you know you're hungry. For 100% charbroiled Angus beef and A1 sauce, it's steakhouse flavor without all the fuss. Try the Steakhouse Angus Thick Burger at Carl's Jr. Feed your happy. Life's full of little accidents. And the Hyundai Tucson helps make sure they stay little by alerting you if you drift out of your lane and even gently correcting your steering. Because unlike your favorite shirt, you are irreplaceable. Hyundai, the longer you look, the more there is to like. Get 0% APR for 60 months on the Tucson or get up to 3,500 in total savings. Only at your SoCal Hyundai dealer. I was waiting for the light to turn green and then from out of the blue, I felt the crash. Everything happened so fast. I wasn't able to work. I had neck braces, I had rehab. It was a difficult time in my life. Helping Jesus get back out on the front lines as quickly as possible with the settlement he deserved was our goal. And we couldn't be happier with the results we got for him. Accident or injury, call Jacob and Ronnie. Call Jacob. Your summer starts here. With big savings on a new Toyota, you can go out and do all the things that make summer the best time of the year. But don't miss out on all the fun. See your Toyota dealer and catch a great deal today. Right now, drive home a stylish new Corolla with a low $199 a month lease. Or you can save big with $1,500 factory cash back. Your summer starts here. Toyota, let's go places. What flavors are you chasing? Pan seasoned Angus beef? A1 sauce? Words written in cursive? Luxury you eat with your hands. Try the Steakhouse Angus Thick Burger at Carl's Jr. Feed your happy. Modern Day High School, 1202 West Edinger Avenue, but I think everybody in Orange County knows how to find their way to Modern Day. At the break, we're just about ready for second half action. It's 25-20, modern day leading the Saints. And again, the Saints only one of 10 from downtown. And we have some fans here tonight. Very nice to see and the CDC coming out and saying, Go take off your mask now, which is nice to, to have after a long time wearing those things. And it's nice to tell you that the KDOC Game of the Week is presented by Wingstop. Order your flavor today online at wingstop.com or on our Wingstop app. Well, the Saints need to make some shots here to begin the third quarter, or they could get in real trouble, because we know that modern day will keep being physical and come at you. The game that best encapsulated 
saying that Dustin's season so far, they beat Cathedral Catholic 46-39 in an ugly, ugly game. Cathedral Catholic, one of the best teams in San Diego, of course, so a great win, but they only scored 46 points in the victory. Connor, beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. <laughs> 46-39 for Mike Hopp was very that's impressive. Beauty. That is impressive, and that's Hornery. The first player to go into double digits tonight. He has 11. You mentioned it earlier, nine rebounds in the first half. He's a rebound away from a double-double already. Brickner working against Kiat. And they'll retool the offense. Brickner shut off on the baseline. 10 on the shot clock, a long range shot from Rudolph is no good, and now they're one of 11 from beyond the arc. Someone has to start making shots. It's a seven point deficit that feels like 15. Kiet. Oh, that's nice. Gabe Kiet, and a quick timeout from Mike Hopp. He doesn't want to let this game get away. He doesn't, and he's talking to Ian De La Rosa, freshman. What are you doing there on defense? He gave Kiet way too much space and didn't help. Yeah, Gabe Kiet, a, a junior, 6'5 guard. 15 pounds heavier since last year. He's grown an inch. Good defender who can attack the basket. We just saw that. Very nice play from him. And as Modern Day continues to extend the lead, the tougher it's going to be for St. Augustine to come back in the game because they have so many struggles on offense. The games where they win, are the close ones up until the end, and then they make a play or two, but they win games on defense, and it's getting away from them a little bit, which I think we expected just because of the talent Modern Day has, three Division I signees. Yeah, so much is told, the story, about how great the big three are and how many points they score, but look at that defense. St. Augustine with only 20 points, and we're a minute into the third quarter. The Monarchs did the same thing against Santa Margarita earlier in the year. They were winning 8-2 to two after the first quarter. They know how to win ugly, too. Beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. <laughs> we're going to teach Connor that by the end of this night because we have another game coming. Suddenly, the Saints just cannot make a shot. And tearing the rebound down is Harrison Horner. Do you think an 8-2 to two first quarter is a, is a pretty quarter? Rather be ahead than behind. <laughs> Wrestler... Had it deflected away, but saved it somehow. The ball was kicked. And cooler heads will prevail. Weird sequence here. Kiet hits off a St. Augustine defender, and then Kiet steps over him. Wrestler gets in the middle of things, but we'll keep playing. I don't think any technical fouls were deserved to be called there. None were. Yeah. Whole lot of nothing. There's Gary McKnight, very relaxed. Should be relaxed. He's lost 65 pounds. He looks great. He's enjoying life. He's closing in on 1,200 career victories. He's 22 and 0. Can't the, do it much better than that. The key to the weight loss: no more Diet Coke. That's what he said. Yeah. They're trapping Kiet. He's under lock and key. It's deflected away out of bounds. Still 23 on the shot clock. It's one of the rare times where Mason Wrestler is being tormented more than the abuse that he dishes out. He's usually the tormentor, you're absolutely right. Greenbach thought about the three and they close in on him. Bad pass, he wanted Hornery. I'd hate to play against this St. Augustine Saints team. The, the way they defend, they make your life so difficult. They play hard, there's no question about that. Rudolph into the front court. But they need a bucket. They do, and I think Dixon needs to be the one to get it. He goes to work, and he went up, and he's tied up. But it'll stay with the Saints. He tried going in the bucket. Just a great defensive play from Davidson, and they're both fighting for the ball. Both these teams really want to win this game. Tingu struggling to bring it in. Finally, his outlet comes into Rudolph. Matingu is hit and fouled, and it was Wrestler that got him. Bumped him on the body. Good call. That's Mason's first. Still no points in the third quarter for St. Augustine. 
Foul inside. Bruckner was knocked down, and this ticket will go against Modern Day. Number 30, Harrison Hornery, second personal. Second foul on second Hornery. De La Rosa under pressure from Davidson lost it. And Modern Day creating a turnover. The game's completely changed from the first half, especially early in that first quarter when it was Modern Day turning the ball over nonstop. Now it's St. Augustine turning it over and they can't score. Inside Nick Davidson, that's an easy play to call. Offensive foul. Knocked down the defender, De La Rosa. That one was pretty easy to call. St. Augustine averages 12 charges a game. They take a lot of these, so I'm surprised it took this long for them finally to get an offensive foul, but here we go. Can they make a shot. Yes. Rudolph, finally, it's a two ball. His foot was on the line, but the bench exploded for the Saints. Excited that they finally scored. 29-22, modern day. Nick Davidson puts it on the ground and he's fouled going up. He almost got that to go, put a little English on it off the backboard, missed the shot, but clear foul, he was pushed. Brickner with the foul, that's his third, so he's gonna have to be careful. Remember he had the two early fouls to begin the game and was saddled and had to go to the bench. Davidson with a miss at the line. Nick the senior, again he's on the way to play college ball at the University of Nevada. Breedenbach's going to Nebraska and Hornery's going to USC. A lot of talent for the Monarchs like they have just about every season. And a lot of size up front for yep. all these high schools to try to play against. Lead is eight. Brickner back to the bench, so I expect Dixon just to try to take over here on the offensive end, get something going. Only basket in the quarter by Rudolph, and you just witnessed it a moment ago. De La Rosa on the baseline. That's good defense from Hornery, and he stepped out of bounds. De La Rosa, the last two offensive possessions, making a couple of freshman mistakes, stepping on the line here. Now one prior, dropped the ball out of bounds. What a job by Dixon taking it away from Breedenbach but they just can't score the ball. Defensively, they played well enough, they but have. it's their offense that's hurting them. Another collision, it's a blocking foul. Defensively, they're playing well enough to be in the game, but the way they're playing on the offense and the eight, eight points seems like a big deficit to try to come back from. They Remember, were up eight early. They were. They've only scored seven points since the first quarter. Number 12, Nick Zach Davidson. Zach Davidson returning to action. So the two Davidson brothers are on the floor for modern day. This is Nick Davidson scoring with the Nick left hand Davidson. and a quick post up move. Too easy. Got his body right into De La Rosa. Caught it on the low block and he'll make that layup all night long. Modern day by 10, starting to pull away. Rudolph for three, that's not close. Geller tipped it, but it's taken down by Hornery who now has a double-double. Inside, Breedenbach is free, and one for Wilhelm Breedenbach. The power of modern day, their lead is 12. Nothing Matingo could do there. No, height again, just Breedenbach catching it above Matingo. Look at that size advantage. For Matingo, he leaves because he has four fouls. Brickner comes back in with three. Breedenbach looking for his 12th point of the night. Rudolph, Geller for three. Again, he's their three-point marksman just. Didn't pull the trigger. No foul call, still free. Saints have it. De La Rosa up the floor. Runs into Kiet. Offensive foul. Kiet stood his ground. The assist to the game. 
presented by Jacob and Ronnie. Davidson beautifully to Breedenbach. Thank you, Jacob and Ronnie. Thank you, Zach Davidson. Thank you, Wilhelm Breedenbach. The game of the week on KDOC. The KDOC Game of the Week is brought to you by Shakey's Pizza Parlor. Dough made fresh daily. Order now at Shakey's.com. The Shakey's PCM Combo, starting at just ten ninety nine. dollars Thursday, a high-caliber matchup you don't want to miss. The Beverly Hills Normans face off against legends in the making, the Sierra Canyon Trailblazers. Action starts at 7.30. Presented by Wingstop. Live only on KDOC-TV Los Angeles. Walk seared steak and shrimp. Order today from Panda Express. Modern day by a dozen in tonight's game of the week on KDOC. It's presented by Jacob and Ronnie. Injured in an accident. For a free consultation, call Jacob at 866-811-1881 or visit call Jacob.com. Jacob is a proud supporter of CIF Sports on KDOC. Well, Mr. Connor Morris said, map it out for me. How does St. Augustine slow down modern day and make shots? That's definitely the, the two big questions. I'm, I'm not exactly sure how to answer. I think defensively, keep doing what they're doing. That's worked so far. But offensively, somehow find a way to make shots because they just haven't gone in in the second half. Well, they're powering up again, and it's Nick Davidson scoring. Modern day's doing a better job moving the ball against the pressure. Brickner. Dixon with the floater. That was nice. That's what he can do. Jury and Dixon. Offensive foul as Monterey Day inbounded the ball. So it's going to go back to the Saints. That, and it was Breedenbach. That play was all about Breedenbach getting frustrated because he thought a charge should have been called on Dixon and he took it right in the chest. <laughs> He's a little feeling it a little bit and then on the other end, here, right here. So he thought he should have taken the charge, and then he gets frustrated and gets called for the offensive foul. Uh-oh, that's bad news. Wilhelm's injured. He's holding that left knee. I'm hoping he just hit that hard on the court and he'll be all right as he gets up. Yeah, I think he Whew, just That was approves. scary, that was scary. He's still hobbled. Well, he's putting some pressure on the leg now, so that's a good sign. But the way he went down and yeah. held that knee, you just, you cringe. And that whole bench knows that their season was just on the line. Back to the well, Wilhelm's at the scores table. He's gone out for the moment. I think he wants to come back in. Saints trigger it in to Rudolph. Just under three minutes to play. Third quarter. Geller. De La Rosa. Book it. It's a nine-point game. The intense pressure continues. A reaching foul on Brickner. And that's going to be costly. He's already in foul trouble. Oh, they gave it to Geller. That's his third. Here's good news, though. Wilhelm Breedenbach. It's good news. But yeah, he's hobbling. Uh, yeah. I hope he's all right. I like the fact that he's back in, but uh, let's see how he plays. Well, he's running up the floor okay. Inside, Davidson. Zach Davidson, like his brother. De La Rosa. Got it up quickly and scores. Five quick points for him. Any offensive spark plug, spark plug for the Saints is huge right now. Geller for three off the steal. 
Greenbach there to rebound. And Wilhelm appears to be okay. Wrestler threw that one behind the cutting Zach Davidson. The 8-29, St. Augustine, despite their shooting woes, still in the hunt. Corner three. Bruckner, a little bit short with that one. Greenbach feeding inside to Davidson. So Zach Davidson picking up the slack inside. He has seven. Give Breedenbach an assist. We get all these big men from Modern Day pass it so well. This game switched when Modern Day started getting looks at the rim. Delarosa can't find it. Zach Davidson rebounds, and he's having a very nice third quarter. They've adjusted well to the pressure from St. Augustine. They're getting looks inside, and it's made all the difference. Breedenbach whirling to the basket. Put it up. The whistle sounds. Goes up. Wilhelm's playing hard, but you just sense he's not 100%. No, and I wouldn't be surprised if he takes a seat for a lot of the fourth quarter and the modern day lead continues to stay in double digits. Play for Freddie Hoiberg in Nebraska. He really had a great connection when the two got together when they recruited him. And Wilhelm is thrilled to go to Lincoln. Della Rosa to the bench, and he's provided some offensive fireworks for the Saints in the third. Breenbach has a dozen. Geller for three. That's his spot. Just has not had the hot hand. Unfortunately, Breenbach is down again. And I think he needs to come out of the game. I agree, and he's going to. I don't think we'll see him again. He came in right away, which was surprising. Remember, he got hurt, hurt his knee, and then went right to the scorer's table. Uh, you got to love his intestinal yeah. fortitude, his desire to play. He's going to go right back into the locker room, and they're going to work on him. But, again, you got to protect the rest of your season. And you got to protect, more importantly, Wilhelm Breedenbach. Definitely, and it's a huge week in the Trinity League for modern day coming up. St. John Bosco and Santa Margarita, the two other top teams in the league. Friedenbach will need to be fully healthy for those games. Bosco won a game here over Long Beach Poly in the tournament. Wrestler gives it off to Davidson. Pretty work, the teamwork again of modern day. Another beautiful sequence, that's two tonight, where the ball just does not hit the floor. Matingu misses. Out of bounds, last touch by Davidson, although he's trying to plead his case. They may call a foul against him over the back, and they do. They do. Look at this play, great bounce pass, and then Wrestler throws it up. Easy, too. Another one that could have been our Jacob and Ronnie assist of the game. Might be the play of the game. Well, Shakey's Pizza will give us a play of the game, and that's certainly a candidate. Rudolph. Three more for the Saints. Chops it down to 11. If the Saints can get a stop here, that'll be a big momentum swing heading into the fourth. Witten's come on, number 13 for the Saints, and he steals the ball. Witten ran into Davidson, and he got fouled. Gage Witten, a junior. Coach said he's a tough guy. You gotta be tough when you're playing against modern day. <laughs> he is, he, he look, looked like a tough bench player for the Saints on that possession. Got the steal and then attacked Nick Davidson. Not too many players do that. Nine shooting foul, so they take it out of bounds and bring it in, final seconds of the third quarter. The drive by Rudolph. That's uh, gonna go against the Saints at a legal screen. Boy, it would have done them well to score at the end of the quarter. Would have been huge. But with one second to go, I don't think Modern Day will be able to get a bucket. So good finish as the Saints are the last team to score in the third. But a good quarter for Modern Day, 43-32. They lead our play of the game presented by Shakey's Pizza. How about this pass? Wrestler 
finding the open man underneath. This is spectacular. And the finish underneath the Monarchs by 11. Shakey's Pizza, play of the game. The KDOC Game of the Week is brought to you by Wingstop. Go to wingstop.com to have that crave-crushing Wingstop flavor delivered right to your door. We've got six plus one. Wingstop for <gasps> Who ordered lunch to class? Chloe? Archie? Eleanor? Oh, so nobody will fess up? Fine. I guess I'll just have to eat it all myself. Ten piece lemon pepper with extra ranch? Yeah, it's in there. Awesome, thanks. You know you want that smoky, tangy, sweet, and spicy sauce and tossed wing stop, where flavor gets its wings. I'm not telling you. Is he cute? <sighs> You're so annoying. Is it the boy that always talks to you? Maybe. Him? Yeah, I really? know. He's not popular, but I like that. Hold up. When an industry makes nicotine look cool and taste good, they shouldn't get away with it. <sighs> so minty. <laughs> set for the fourth quarter. Tonight's KDOC Game of the Week is presented by Wingstop. Lunch, dinner, or late night. Visit wingstop.com for piping hot, boneless wings. Well, the Monarchs have limited St. Augustine from San Diego, one of the top teams in the area. Torrey Pines, probably the best team in San Diego. They, by the way, have a win over Corona Centennial, the only team to beat the Huskies, and we'll have the Huskies in our second game. Zach Davidson with a puppy inside. Zach Davidson. How many layups do the Bonner shoot on a nightly basis? There's a block brilliantly by the other Davidson, Nick Davidson. It's a Davidson production right now. But, man, what an impressive uh, play on offense and on defense for Modern Day to start the fourth. St. Augustine able to force it over and back. So the Saints will bring it in near midcourt. But uh, 20 seconds into the quarter, they're down a healthy amount, 13 points. Richter had it deflected away by Zach Davidson again. And he throws it right to Rudolph of the Saints. Dixon for three. De La Rosa comes flying in for the rebound. That's good interior passing. And the bucket for Rudolph. And they'll continue to apply the pressure. I think this is smart. The foul, not so much, but full court press, down double digits on the road against a really good modern day team. Desperation time for the Saints. I didn't like the foul there by Brickner is fourth, but I think the press is the right call. Well, Brickner with four, Matingu with four, and five eliminates you, and Nick Davidson will go to the other end and shoot the one and one. The issue with the press is every foul from here on out modern day goes to the line so you want to be aggressive but you have to do it intelligently and Brickner was way too aggressive there and Davidson goes to the line that's an easy foul call. Davidson has 12, Breedenbach has 12, Cornery has 11. So what else is new? They, they score the same every <laughs> yeah, night don't they? I always get tagged on Twitter and one of them has 22, one of them has 21, one of them has 20. It's like clockwork. Brickner for three. From downtown, Isaiah Brickner. Still plenty of time for them to rally back. 10 point game, and now we see the press again. And again, Breedenbox out of the lineup, and a takeaway. Brickner quickly to the basket. Just could not put it through the nylon. Kiet says, I don't have the numbers, I'll back it up. A steal. Anticipation by Dixon. Feeds the cutting Brickner who dropped the layup. It was right there for him. I'm sure missing Breedenbach has something to do with it, but shades of the first quarter here for St. Augustine. Defensively, they're speeding up modern day. They're forcing turnovers, down only 10 points, hanging around with one of the best teams in the state when they could have fallen over, you know, and been blown out. I've been impressed. Davidson scores. Zach Davidson having a very healthy second half. Hornery with the dime. 
11 points for Zach Davidson. So four players for modern day in double figures. Six minutes to play. Brickner for three. Three more for Isaiah. Three for Isaiah Brickner. Well, knocked down a couple shots here to make it a little bit more enticing for you at home. He's hit his last two threes. Modern day struggling against this pressure. Nearly threw it away again. Kied had to rescue. Underneath, Horner is free. Brickner has to be careful. He's playing with four fouls, he so he, he played it very softly at the back end. And he's the only one scoring right now. They need him. Dixon fails. Hornery coming back the other way. Another over and back. The Saints just pressure you into turnovers. They do, and like I said earlier, it looks like the first quarter all over again. Modern day out of control, turning the ball over. Breedenbach, or excuse me, Hornery crossed the line and went back, which will be an easy call for the official as we saw there. Can the Saints put together some baskets and get back into the game though? That's the big question. Well, they are playing a little bit better offensively here in the fourth quarter. Brickner's come alive and he's shooting another three. Hit the side of the yeah. iron. <laughs> Corner three. Another rebound for Davidson. Zach Davidson tipped that one to his brother, Nick. Just the pluses of having so much size right there. Nick Davidson. Finally, it comes down to Dixon, Jurian Dixon of St. Augustine. He's open, he shoots the three. Terrific hustle by Minter of Mater Day. Davidson on the baseline to Hornery, and he flushes it through. Well, Mater Day in good shape here, up 13. And here's another look at that assist and goal. Pretty play, Hornery with a two-handed slam. I think every member of the big three, maybe Davidson doesn't, but a lot of dunks tonight. 53-40 for Modern Day, looking to go to 23-0. Look at the uh, Saints' upcoming schedule. That Cathedral Catholic game, the big one, on May 27th. Remember, St. Augustine won very, very close 46-39 game. So Cathedral Catholic will want to get revenge in that one, that's for sure. Yeah, I believe that Mike Hopp will be happy the way his team has performed here. They didn't shoot the ball well, and you could never control that. Had they shot it well, this could have been a real dangerous game for modern day. But there's still 419 left. There's still a little bit of time. Certainly. I think he'll be very happy with the defensive effort as well. And then on offense, they've struggled shooting the ball here. It's a really young team. They only start one senior. So a lot of these guys will come back. They'll use this experience. And I think this will be a very dangerous team a year from now. Well, it's been a tough game for modern day, playing against that pressure, and that's going to help them. One would think going forward, they're going to see a lot of pressure in the upcoming Open Tournament. Villarosa. And Rudolph. He'll shoot the three. Deflected away, out of bounds. Last touch by Zach Davidson. Exactly four minutes to play in the game. Saints need to make everything count. It shots is a major priority. Matingu and De La Rosa. On the baseline, can't find it. Another rebound for Harrison Hornery. Kien had it poked away. Open floor, going strong to the basket. You love that effort. Saints will have a couple free throws coming up when we return to play of the game. And now the player of the game.
Nick Davidson, he's done it all. He's rebounded, he's scored, he's powered up. He's had a huge impact on the game. Shakey's Pizza gave us the play of the game. Wingstop has our player of the game. That's Nick Davidson, number 35, for the white-clad modern-day Monarchs, who lead by 13 on KDOC. The Shakey's PCM Combo, starting at just $10.99. Life's full of little accidents. And the Hyundai Tucson helps make sure they stay little by alerting you if you drift out of your lane and even gently correcting your steering. Because unlike your favorite shirt, you are irreplaceable. Hyundai, the longer you look, the more there is to like. Get 0% APR for 60 months on the Tucson or get up to 3,500 in total savings. Only at your SoCal Hyundai dealer. Thursday, a high-caliber matchup you don't want to miss. The Beverly Hills Normans face off against legends in the making, the Sierra Canyon Trailblazers. Action starts at 7.30. Presented by Wingstop. Live only on KDOC-TV Los Angeles. Dad, we do this every day. When I was your age, we didn't have the 2021 Nissan Rogue with intelligent all-wheel drive. You know what we had? The occasional Sunday drive, gravel road here and there. We didn't get to experience the thrill of groundbreaking driving technology on a daily basis like you kids do. The fiercely reimagined Nissan Rogue. Get a low 219 for month lease on the 2021 Rogue or get 0% financing for up to 72 months on 14 models. Well, modern day. In the extravaganza over the years, 31 and 4. So they're about to go to 32 and 4, but Mike Hopp. Brought his team here from San Diego. They've played hard, and they're still battling. See what develops in the final stages of this one. Still battling. Going to be a potentially close finish if they can keep, keep up the defensive intensity and get some buckets in transition. That's what's been the key for them so far. Dixon knocks them both down. Lead is 11. And they turn it over, Modern Day, against that pressure. Richter all the way, and he's fouled out of the ball game at the offensive infraction. That's a killer. There's the senior. Trying to do a little bit too much. Give Kiet a lot of credit sliding over there on the, on the defensive challenge. You don't agree with the call, huh? Well, you mentioned sliding over. I think he was still moving. <laughs> I don't think he got there, so it's a shame to see the star senior for St. Augustine have to foul out on a call like that, but it is what it is. Three and a half minutes to go, and we'll keep playing. Then Kiet brings it into Nick Davidson. Back to Kiet. That's two stars out of the game, because remember, Wilhelm Breedenbach in the locker room right now with a knee injury. Hopefully he's okay. And Hornery lost it out of bounds. Jared Matingu with pressure. This might be a season high in turnovers for modern day. I would not be surprised if at the end of the night we see that statistic. It's been way too many for Gary McKnight's liking. Dixon gets a screen from Geller. That's not close. Good pressure defense from Kiet. The problem for St. Augustine is that they make it really ugly for modern day on offense, but then it's been ugly for the Saints as well. There's a tie-up. Great pressure from Matingu, and it'll go to the Saints. This defensive performance is a good appetizer for our second game. Corona Centennial, I think, plays. Them and Etiwanda, the best defense in the state of California. Well, Etiwanda lost here today they against did. Harvard Westlake. Three ball again fails. Rudolph missed it. Modern day with 240 to play in great shape, protecting an 11 point lead. Baseline, Hornery! Oh, a quick first step. What a burst. He was determined to finish that play with a dunk, and he goes up and slams it home. Very impressive. 
Slipped out of the hands of Rudolph. Ornery to Davidson. Couldn't quite control it. It's a little helter-skelter. Yeah. Corner three, another long range one that does not fall. Quick follow by Rudolph, and he's going to the free throw line. You see Wrestler with a little bit of a shove after the play. These two have been going at it all night long. Air ball on the three, get the rebound, foul. And if the replay had continued, you'd see Wrestler throw a little playful one-handed shove. Just a competitor. Lawrence, call me Lolo Rudolph. He is a freshman, and he goes by the label of Lolo. He plays with a real edge to him. I think Mike Hopp has a real good one in Rudolph. How about the follow here by De La Rosa? Excuse me for talking over you there, but no, 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 I'm very think. impressed with Rudolph. Knocked away and out of bounds. And the Saints, they, they, they just swarm all over the court. They do. That defense, this performance has been very, very impressive so far. By the way, Mike Hopp, a very engaging gentleman, always smiling. He's still laughing on the sideline. He's an entertainer. He's had a great track record over the years at St. Augustine. And again, modern day struggling to bring it in, and uh, Kiet picks the timeout. 2.03 left. Let's see what the Monarchs have coming up. Let's see if they have any potential setbacks down the road. You mentioned the possibility with Santa Margarita. St. John Bosco and Rolling Hills Prep has got a good team. That's Harvey Catani's squad. I remember a few years ago they came here and battled Modern Day to a pretty close game, but uh, they'll be playing up. That won't be easy. They got a great guard in Benny Gieler. They do. They had a tough loss last night to Orange Lutheran, a Trinity League foe that Modern Day has had an easy time with so far. But on any given day, I think with the COVID shortened season, we'll see some teams surprise some other teams in Rolling Hills Prep with Kenny Manzi, Benny Gieler. I think. They definitely have a chance to give Modern Day a good game. I just worry about their lack of size, similar to what St. Augustine has here. Do they still have the Guinness Book of World Records? I don't know if any high school team has won six games on six nights in a row like Modern Day is about to do, if they can hold off St. Augustine. And it has not been easy. This has been a grinder. Wrestler says, uh, there's too many guys over there. I'm going to go out of there. Then he threw it away. Great anticipation. And a layup for Geller. Eight points and another quick timeout taken by St. Augustine. And Modern Day's not in. If they don't handle the pressure, this could get a little dicey down the stretch. Definitely. Remember, both teams are in the bonus. So any foul at this point, the team will go to the line. And I, I think that has the benefit St. Augustine. They can be aggressive. And then if Modern Day fouls them, they'll go to the line. That'll stop the clock. Game definitely isn't over. Upcoming games on KDOC TV, the Normans of Beverly Hills and Sierra Canyon. For Bay Academy, who's going to be an open division team, most people believe, in the southern section against the city power of Birmingham. By the way, Westchester has looked really good in the city section. They're the defending LA City champions. The Cathedral Catholic back here against Modern Day. It's not going to be an easy game. They have a little more size than St. Augustine. They do, and going into the season, Cathedral Catholic was the preseason top team. Tory Pines has passed him, but we'll see what happens in the playoffs. So I, I think that will be another tough game for the Monarchs. Well, it's a good finishing schedule, getting them prepared for the tournament. With Connor Morissette, I'm Randy Rosenblum. Our evening is early when you think about it. We got another game. It'll be late night on KDOC with Corona Centennial. Facing off against Capo Valley. Both teams with just one loss. Two really good clubs, and I think you'll find that game highly entertaining. Corona Centennial's 15 and 1. Capo Valley is 10 and 1. Again, we'll apply the pressure and try to force Modern Day into a miscue. Kiet brings it into Hornery. Finds Davidson. Carriage has come in. Double zero for Modern Day. Gives him another ball handler. And a takeaway by De La Rosa. Saints moving quickly. Rudolph all the way. It would have counted had it have gone. I don't want to say Modern Day has fallen apart without Breedenbuck, but it's night and day 
with him on the court. He gets hurt, he's off the court. We'll see the floor again tonight, we believe, because of a knee injury and modern day, they were up 12, they were up double digits. Kane Augustin, a big reason why I think they've been able to fight back is because Breedenbach had to go to the locker room. But they're feisty, and they, they are. play hard. They and, are. and you gotta give them credit. They have not shot it well. But because of their defense and takeaways, there's still a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel. Definitely, and I didn't mean to sell them short with that statement. They've, they've played very well in the defensive end. Davidson with the rebound. It's a seven point lead. Nick's hit in the back court. And he's going to be going to the free throw line. Geller trying to get the steal. Reached out and got him on the arm. I said it earlier, but it would not be fun to play these guys. Geller has four. It's fun when you win. And Gary McKnight's saying, shaking his head over there. Boy, this is can't end fast enough. And he always says it's better to win not a very pretty game than it is to play well and lose. He, his record speaks for himself. He has over 1,100 wins, but he doesn't care how it's done a lot of the time. He just is very happy to go home with a victory. 15 for Davidson. Lead is nine. Try to preserve as much time as possible before you pick up the ball. The clock didn't start. Rudolph has a lane and a foul. And Lolo is going back to the line. Super competitive is Rudolph. He is, and he showed a great burst of speed on that play. Shooting two. Get to the bucket, Zach Davidson clearly got him on the arm. Well, they're not making foul shots. Oh, and Mike Hopp's team shoots well. There's going to be nights. When they put it on some people, because they play so great at the defensive end, but offensively a little bit challenged. They're a team you wouldn't want to meet in the playoffs because you know you're going to get such a good defensive effort, and that might lead to low scoring output, and you could be in trouble. Kiet playing against the clock at this point, so he pulled it out. And another foul. Final 63 seconds. Rudolph with his second foul. That no was, danger there. That was so far away from the basket. I, to me, it seems a little early to play the foul game with a, over a minute to go. Maybe if Modern Day got it close to the rim, but that far away, maybe you try a trap or something. I don't know. I was surprised that foul was committed so far away from the hoop. Gabe with another one. Missed them both. Maybe it was a good foul after all. I stand corrected. Terrific foul. Well, they got to shoot the basketball. Can't be patient here. You got to put up a shot. And Batingo not close to the air ball and another foul. Saints well, Modern Day will go to 23 and 0. They hold on here. St. Augustine will fall to 10 and 4. But again, they lead their league, the Western League in the San Diego section, and they'll have an opportunity to play their tournament. Who knows how well they will do it. We wish them well. And we'll see one of their challengers and their Western League rival, Cathedral Catholic, against Modern Day next week here. We will. Another team in San Diego that is really good is undefeated San Marcos. They're another team at the very top of that open division field who will be very dangerous come postseason time. Before the shot went up, we had another foul. Gets modern day. Foul's call, number 22, Gabe Quiet, third person. Quiet with the foul. Shooting a double bonus, number three. Both teams in the double bonus. Geller has two. He's their three point shooter. And there's going to be some nights, and he averages nine a game, Geller, that he's going to be a big player for them come tournament time. Witten back in. Trying to take it away from Davidson. He's hit and fouled. It's a parade to the charity stripe. If Monterey keeps making the free throws, you'd think eventually 
saying she'll call off the dogs. Well, Geller just fouled out. Number zero, Jake back in. He has four fouls. Geller goes out. He's the second Saint to foul out. Brickner went out first. And the wide body, Davidson at the line. Well, come tournament time, you got to knock these foul shots down and have you know, some close games. It's an area both teams will certainly work on. They've both left some points out there. Lead is 11, 60 to 49. Off balance try by Dixon. Coach has said, no more fouls. Mike Hopp, we could hear him yell from the sideline. And an easy stuff for Hornery. 62 to 49. Hornery has 21 to lead the Monarchs. One in the lane. That's up and nicely done by Dixon, showing his shooting skills. That should uh, finish it off. Final numbers. Modern day wins by double digits, 62 to 51. Game one is in the books. Remember, Corona Centennial is up ahead against Capistrano Valley. That'll be a good one. Some good highlights here in game one. Modern day, 23-0. Saints again fall to 10 and four. Saints played hard. Again, we have that upcoming nightcap for you. Stay with us on KDOC Corona Centennial and Capistrano Valley. That's next, our game of the week. Tonight, a doubleheader on KDOC.